Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the museum and I look a hot mess and the lighting is awful, but I wanted to do this video because you guys, there has been a 12 minute live feed audio leak and it was so glorious. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Kyle, one of my most loyal longtime subscribers. I love you. You're the bomb diggity. I was scrolling through Facebook and I'm in a bunch of Facebook Big Brother groups. Um, if you happen, if you're a subscriber of mine and you happen to see me in one of the groups, say hello, pop me a friend request, I will add you. Um, but I saw like spoiler spoiler and I always read spoilers like I'm all about it and so I hit it and I saw the leak and I was like no way and then I noticed it was Kyle I was like Kyle what you doing in this group and so he friend requested me and we were talking and you guys the leak is good in my opinion I think it's good so basically what's going on is Christy right that's her name Christy the boutique owner, the one that is a feminist lesbian, a lesbian, a feminist lesbian, and wants to use that as part of her strategy. That girl, she is HOH currently, and in the leak, she, I think she was talking to Nicole. That's what the vo the other voice sounded like to me. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Nicole, the crazy girl who reminds me of Scotty, that girl. Um. They were chit-chatting and Christy was talking about how she does not trust Nick, like, at all. I guess at one point he nominated um, Cliff and Jessica and there was a third person, I can't remember, but she mentioned how he made some pack with four other people and he ended up nominating Cliff, Jessica, and someone else. So he was already nominating people. I don't know if that means that he was HOH already. I don't know if he was just given some twist where he could nominate someone. I don't know. But she did say, sorry if you hear the people out there. <laughs> she did say that he did nominate three people. Cliff and Jessica were two of those people. So I'm assuming whoever was the third one probably went home. Um... But anyways, she she does not trust him at all. Mainly for that, but then she also talks about how him and Catherine have a whole thing going on right now. And uh, he's a physical threat. Him and Jackson are really close. And she was talking to, like I said, I believe Nicole. She was talking to Nicole about how she would like to nominate him, but she thinks it's way too early that he'll probably win veto, take himself off, and then go nominate her, and that she, that he scares her basically. What she wants to do is nominate Catherine because she recognizes that Catherine and Nick have a thing going, and I think that's hella smart. As you know from my past videos, I'm not a fan of people who keep showmances in the game. I think it's stupid. Like, how are you gonna really keep someone's boyfriend and girlfriend? How are you gonna keep a couple in the game like that's an, a strong little alliance there you know and it's always showmance that make showmances that make it to the end and personally if i wanted to watch the bachelor i would watch the bachelor if i wanted to watch love island i would watch that shit but i don't want to watch it so i i i really prefer it when house guests target showmances like right away that's my preference so when she mentioned that i was like yes cat <laughs> I almost called her Catherine. I was like, yes, Chrissy, like, do it. If they're a showmance, get rid of Catherine. <laughs> um, and so that was the whole tea. She wants to get rid of Catherine. And then she was talking about how she's probably going to put Cliff up next to her. Or, well, she never confirmed that it's going to be Catherine. She just said that Catherine's really annoying her, really making herself a target because she's constantly following Christy. And it's annoying, like as a HOH, hello. You don't want some person just following you for shits and giggles. You know that they're just following you because they either want information, because they want to kiss your ass. Nobody likes that. 
Like, what? So, I totally get it. Like, get rid of Catherine. Whatever. The reason why she wants to put Cliff up next to whomever is because she doesn't think that Cliff will go home. And that's usually the person that ends up going home. <laughs> the person, when, and when, whenever an HOH puts someone up and their main reason is, because I don't think you'll go home. I think that everyone likes you so much that you'll stay and the other person will go home. Using them as a pawn, <laughs> it usually backfires. So, especially when it's an older guy being used as a pawn, you know, like they just end up keeping the younger people. I sort of think that production just tells them, get rid of the old guy, but that's never been confirmed. That's just my, um, what's the word? My theory. <laughs> Anyways, so that was the tea from the leak. To me, in my opinion, it's scolding hot. I went, ouch, ooh, just like that. And I'm just excited. Like this, this kind of stuff really gets me pumped for the seasons and I'm just here for it. I really hope there's drama this season. Like good game related drama, not catty drama. I want game related drama. I want someone to find out about an alliance and blow that shit up like like to Jupiter kind of blow it up I want someone to yell and scream at another house guest and call them a whore or something you know like I want name calling I want like a junior high school big brother argument Maybe one or two, you know? Like, I want some good drama, but good gameplay drama. I don't want that catty, annoying, like, oh, you're ugly. Like, Big Brother 15 drama. That's stupid. Look at that. that gosh. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this lifey leak. Let me know if you heard it and your thoughts on it. I'm pumped. You know, if if this is the kind of game that Chrissy's going to play, then I'm here for it. I loved how in the leak she mentioned how she doesn't want to keep the boys around. She was talking about how, I think it was when she was saying that Nick made a pact with four people. I think it was four guys. And she was talking about how that's dangerous, how guys in the game are always solid together. Which is true in that in both Big Brother and in life. I know my husband will literally meet some random guy like in a bathroom while they're washing their hands and they'll become the best buddies ever. I'll meet a chick. I mean when I'm drunk and I meet girls like we're best friends for the whole night. But like if I meet someone random we'll be cool friends for like a month and then it's over. And that's kind of the same thing is in Big Brother. Guys, they'll go into the pantry and they'll make a strong, solid alliance on day two and it will go on for the entire show, but girls will make a, an alliance day three and by day five, that alliance is split up and everyone's backstabbing each other and targeting each other. It's crazy, I don't get it. But Chrissy was talking about how she wants to get rid of all the guys because they're dangerous. Because all guys are always a solid alliance and I appreciated that she didn't say it because oh I want it to be girls girl power she wasn't doing that she's like no nah, the guys are dangerous I really she's she doesn't seem like the kind that's wants wants to bullshit with the whole oh let's have a girl alliance and girl power and girl this and all that no she's looking at it from a game point like yeah it's more natural because the guys are strong AF and they're definitely going to make it to the end and they're going to be about that life whereas girls we can work each other you know like I can turn so and so against so and so like it's nothing girls are weird I don't get it but I did appreciate that so if that's the kind of gameplay that she's going to play then I'm about to be team Chrissy the entire season because that just hyped me up like no other <laughs> So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I am a little surprised to hear that Catherine and Nick are a little showman's blooming because those two just don't look like they would ever be about that kind of life. Like they don't look like the type that would be together. So 
Like he seems really down to earth and chill. She seems really high maintenance and annoying. So, but I guess opposites attract. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.